Hello and welcome back to the BE I Love channel. In today's tutorial, we're diving into data visualization with Matplotlib, specifically focusing on the crucial stem plot type. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Your support helps us continue creating valuable content for you. Let's get started with the tutorial. Now, let's begin our tutorial in Jupyter Notebook. In the first cell, we'll import the NumPy library as NP and the matplotlib library as PLT. First, we generate an array of X values using the linspace function from the NumPy library. This function creates an array of 20 evenly spaced values between 0 and 2p, which we assign to the variable x. This array will represent the positions of the stems on the x-axis in our plot. Next, we compute the corresponding y values using the sin function from NumPy. This function calculates the sign of each value in the x array, which we assign to the variable y. This array will represent the heights of the stems on the y axis. This code prepares the sample data for creating a stem plot, with x representing the positions on the x axis and y representing the heights based on the sign function. We then customize our stem plot's font, figure, and appearance. First, we create a figure with custom size and resolution. We use the figure function from matplotlib to set the figure size to 5 by 3 inches and the resolution to 300 dots per inch DPI. In the next step, we display the plot using the show function. Then, we add labels and a title to the plot to make it more informative. The X label, Y label, and title functions are used to add the respective text. Before that, we set the font family to Times New Roman using Matplotlib's RC perms. This ensures that all text in the plot will use this font. Additionally, we add a grid to the plot to enhance readability. The grid function is used with a specified line width.
Next, we limit the x-axis and y-axis ranges using the x-lim and y-lim functions. This ensures that the plot only displays values within the specified ranges. Next, we set custom ticks and labels on the y-axis and x-axis of our stem plot for clarity. After that, we then create the stem plot using the stem function from matplotlib. We specify the line format as a solid line and the marker format as an H marker.
Thank you for joining us on this journey through STEM plot data visualization. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting content. If you have questions, suggestions, or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, drop them in the comments below. Also, you can find code examples on our GitHub page. Stay curious and engaged. We'll see you in the next video.